Hey friends, today we are going to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2024 and I am so excited. This is my favorite holiday event of the year and I wanted to make a video and share all of my experiences with you. I'm going to take you around the park and show you everything that's included in the party, including the all you care to enjoy cookies and hot cocoa, the amazing ride overlays like Space Mountain with the lights on and Christmas music, and even the holiday parade and Christmas fireworks. So we're going to eat some food, ride some rides, and have a joyful Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day in the Magic Kingdom today. Temperatures are in the low 70s, and it's awesome to see all the Christmas decorations out already. It's only November 8th, but Disney likes to start the holiday season early, and I'm even more excited to see all of the lights turn on when it gets dark later on. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is a separate ticketed event and it can cost anywhere from $169 to $219 depending on the night, but you do get a lot for your money. Like I mentioned, unlimited hot cocoa and cookies all around the park. They have some super rare character meet and greets. The rides have special overlays, the parade, the fireworks, even the food. They have specialty food only being sold during the party itself. And I kind of want to show you everything and uh, kind of be a little guide in case you plan on coming to the party yourself and I'm just excited to kick off the holiday season here is a look at the map for this year's party and I love collecting these maps it gives you a breakdown of all of the food spots all of the entertainment look at this you got a gingerbread milkshake some cauliflower a chocolate eggnog tart a holiday turkey burger over at cosmic rays we're gonna try like you know everything and I especially want to try all of the uh, festive cookies that they have mapped out around the park they have these little candy canes on the map to let you know that that's a place where you can pick up holiday treats and we're gonna try to hit them all up on top of everything else I told you is included in the party, another thing that's awesome is the fact that all of the attractions have very low wait times because it's a limited capacity event. So you could ride a lot of rides in one night. In fact, if I was on vacation uh, and I had to choose between buying a day ticket to Magic Kingdom or buying a Christmas party ticket, I probably wouldn't buy a day ticket and just come to the Christmas party because I'd be able to ride all the rides and then i get cookies and hot cocoa all included in the price i love when disney makes it snope in the magic kingdom it's so fun and it adds to the experience and look how festive it is over here we've got a sleigh dj up here we'll probably get our first cookie oh wow there's a bunch of ginger man man up there too wow this is great welcome in Welcome out. <laughs> uh -oh. Is Tabara Lamb taking you? Oh, here comes our first little thing. This either can be a cookie or an ornament. I'll take either one. Hi, how are you? It's an ornament. I love it. Look at that. And then look at the gingerbread men over there. That is too cool. They also got tall snow angels up there. Hi. Merry Christmas! There's so many good nifty treats and surprises in this little walkway before we even got into the party. I love that. That is such a cool way to start the party, walking through that side street there. And you get a, a little ornament uh, to start the day with, and it looks really fancy. Now I think uh, we're gonna go over the map a little bit and kind of come up with a plan, because one of the things about coming to the parties is they're very, very like limited on time. And sometimes a lot of people can't get everything done. So I kind of have a nice little system uh, that I like to do to kind of maximize uh, my, my time here. It's starting to get dark out, and it's not even park closed yet. Look at Frontierland is empty. I want to start over here because they have some really cool food that I want to try at the beginning of the night before we, you know, get ready for the fireworks and the parade. And it's over at Golden Oak Post, I think it is. They have special uh, holiday beignets. I decided on grabbing the food in Frontierland and then bringing it back to Main Street because I want to show you all the lights are on. The Christmas tree is lit and I'm excited. Now it's starting to get really festive here and I got some really good treats I can't wait to show you. 
just take a look at these delicious looking beauties. First, we've got the festive beignets with blue sugar cookie dust and cookie butter icing. And then we've got peppermint fried ice cream tree. Look at that, ice cream rolled in cereal topped with green cookie butter. Oh wow, both of these look amazing and completely new this year, especially since we've got now seasonal beignets. And I'm excited to dive in and uh, let you guys know what I think. First things first, I think we're gonna go festive beignets. Look at these precious little beauties. I like how they're nice and light and fluffy. Look at that. And we got cookie butter right here. Cookie butter sauce on top of cookie butter dusted beignets. Here we go. I love the beignets at Golden Oak. These ones are just super, super sweet. They're very nice and fluffy and light, and I like how they're like hollow on the inside. It's probably better without the cookie butter uh, like sauce because that's the sweetest thing. These aren't sweet. That is super sweet, but I still enjoy them. I'll probably snack a little bit more on them. I'm excited to dive into this fried ice cream. I'm not the biggest fan of fried ice cream, but it looks pretty interesting, so here we go. Get a little of that peppermint on there. That's good. The fried ice cream was delicious. It's peppermint ice cream on the center there, and this is just like a peppermint icing, but it does melt very quickly. So if you do plan on getting it, try to eat it as soon as possible. Now that it's getting a little bit later, I think I might switch out my hat. <laughs> it's getting a little hot under there, and I brought my ball cap just in case. Ooh, I'm bald. Enough of the beignet business. Take a look at all these Christmas lights. I'm so excited. I literally walked all the way back out here just so I can see the tree all lit up for the first time. I mean, we still have 10 minutes until the party starts and we've already tried some of the food. Well, the food that costs extra money. Now everything else, like the cookies that we get as we walk around are gonna be uh, just included in the uh, ticket price. I just want to be in the festive spirit. I tried putting my Mickey uh, Santa hat on top of my other hat, but now I think it's just hotter, so I don't know how long that's going to last. And now, like I said, uh, the uh, party's going to start in just a couple minutes. I kind of already have an idea of the things that I definitely want to do. I want to see the parade, and I want to see the fireworks, and I want to go on Space Mountain. There are two different show times for the parade. One is at 8.30, and then one is at 11, and then the fireworks are at 10, so we we might watch the parade and then the fireworks and in the meantime just circle around the park eating cookies and drinking hot cocoa. I feel like that sounds like a beautiful night. <laughs> but seriously, look at that Christmas tree. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Now I think we're going to make our way over to Space Mountain and maybe pick up a cookie on the way. Tomorrowland is really going out for Club Tinsel. Look at this. I think Judy Hopps is somewhere in the middle of that crowd there. Stay quiet, y'all are gonna like this one. You're from Zootopia, and I wanna hear your best roar for this one. Here we go. <laughs> Look at Santa Goofy! What's up, Goof? <laughs> oh my lord, and Max is out with a Christmas sweater! Max! What's up, Max? Merry Christmas! Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Oh, it in. <laughs> I love how they have like the characters from Zootopia just dancing around with all the other guests. That's such an awesome thing. Now, uh, I think we're making our way to Space Mountain. Oh, it's a 30 minute wait. 35 minute wait for Space Mountain, but I could tell you what, this is probably the most popular attraction and might even have a longer wait than Tron at the moment, only because, like I said, it's an awesome holiday version. It's very bright in there and they play amazing music. It's my favorite thing about the party. Just so you guys know, before we get on this ride, like I mentioned, this is not like your regular Space Mountain. So there's gonna be a lot of flashing lights and you're gonna be able to see the track and the music's gonna be different. It literally is probably one of my favorite Disney rides. Like this version of Space Mountain is like easily top three Disney rides around the world. Wow, look at this.
absolutely amazing. I love that ride so much. Now, I need a hot cocoa and a cookie stat. I think my first cookie stop is gonna be over here at the launching pad. But I wanted to point out, look at this. No line for the people mover. So if you wanted to ride the people mover all night, you could do it. I would do it. <laughs> Almost all of the festive treat stops are going to be different cookies and different beverages. Sometimes it's hot cocoa, sometimes it's eggnog, sometimes I, I think I saw hot apple cider. But, I mean, they're all good in my book. <laughs> all you got to do is look for the candy canes and that'll lead you to the cookies and hot cocoa. I'm so excited and once I get a couple hot cocos in me, I think I'm going to be more hyper. Delicious cookies and apple cider. Thank you. Oh, first cookie. Oh, and there's the apple cider. Thank you. I wonder if it's cold or hot. Looks like it's cold. Thank you. All right, we got our first cookie and drink of the night, and it's a buttercream frosted red sprinkle cutout cookie. And I like that they're individually packaged because at the end of the night, these are unlimited, so you can grab as many as you want. You can just keep going around the loop and take them home with you. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna dive on in. First cookie of the night. And we got some cold apple cider too, which honestly, I, I need a little something cold and refreshing. So. Cheers to cookie, cheers to the holidays. So soft and delicious. It's honestly falling apart. I forgot to break it. Look at that. It is a nice little cookie. I'm gonna probably get a couple more of these, but I'll also let you guys know what my favorite cookie of the night is. We have to keep moving along. I think we have just about 20 minutes until the first parade. So I wanna get another treat stop in and maybe find a hot cocoa, get a nice little cozy spot for the parade and just keep on enjoying the festive time here at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I'm just gonna hop from candy cane to candy cane. This is the one, this is the one I think they got the hot cocoa at. I love it, I love this so much. Oh yeah, he's double fisting. Yeah, they got the hot chocolate, that's the one I'm looking for. Wow. Also, they usually have a dance party in here too. Happy holidays! Merry Christmas! Hot cocoa? Thank you. Oh, and a Christmas tree cookie. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Look at that, guys. Hot cocoa in a Christmas tree cookie. Oh, thanks, guys. All right, the second cookie of the night. This is supposed to be a buttercream Christmas tree. I'm not seeing the tree. I mean, from the back, you can see the tree because they can see it. It kind of looks like a spade, but it looks like the icing kind of melted away. And then I got my hot cocoa, so we can hit it with the one-two punch. Cookie, hot cocoa. I might have to run back in there and get another hot cocoa. This is so delicious and it's the perfect temperature, but I don't know if I have enough time because we want to make it to the 8.30 parade. It steps off at 8.30, but it probably doesn't hit Main Street until closer to 8.45. So I think we're going to take our cookie and cocoa and uh, go get a spot for the parade. Normally, I like to watch the parade on Main Street because they pump in the snow and it just looks so magical, but I think we're too late to the first parade. It's a big show out. Like, you, I don't even, you couldn't even get into the hub. It's like a big wall of people. I think at this point, we might just be looking over someone's shoulders, which I don't mind. I've seen the parade a couple of times and I love it, but I'd like to show you guys, like give you at least a pretty good view of it. Look at how busy it is in here. Wow, guys, look at this. I'm ready for the holiday season to be here. Look at that snow, too.
seen him. Hi, everyone. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, So delicious.
answers to a song. That parade has definitely got to be my all-time favorite holiday parade. I love it. All of the floats have scents when they go by, so you can actually smell, like, whatever the float is. And I was just, like, so in awe of the toy soldiers when they come down and they're like, clop, 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 clop. It's so cool. I really do love it. And it was cool because I actually ran into Jenna from Resort TV One and Pete from the Pete McDevitt Show, and we kind of watched the uh, parade together. Now I want to go explore around a little bit and see if we can get some more cookies and definitely more hot cocoa and then we got to get ready for the fireworks the most important thing i love these fireworks i made my way down to storybook circus and they've got some silly polar bears over here doing a meet and greet i've never even seen them before i don't even know if they're like a disney character let me know in the comments if you guys recognize the polar bears but they look really fun they're actually dancing and having a good time and i think there's another treat stop down here actually it looks so festive over here this is like all brand new they got they got stilt walkers over there they got snoke down here wow they're doing some stuff they're doing it Santa's meeting where the seven dwarves used to meet actually in that little gazebo down by uh, Pete's uh, silly sideshow and he's got a long long line so we're probably not going to be able to see Santa today but we just saw him in the parade and there's also no treat stops down here so if you come down to Storybook Circus uh, it's just for Santa and this cool little festive area so I guess we're going to move along and get some more cookies cookie cookie <laughs> Look at these stilt walkers. Meet Santa in Storybook Circus. Look, they got snow down here. Wow, this is so cool over here. I really love what they're doing with the place. Look at that, the lanterns are snoping. I think I found a leaky snow machine and I wanna sit here and see how much snow I can get to pile on top of me. It's coming down in some pretty good clumps right now. See, <laughs> look at this. It's actually pretty slippery over here. Don't slip on the soap, and look at this trash can. We can make like a snow snowball. Holy moly, we might actually do. That did not work like I thought it was. <laughs> the next festive treat stop is gonna be here at the Harbor House. I wonder what they got going on in there. I'll take a hot chocolate. Thank you. I love you too. Oh, thank you. Oh, have good and Merry Christmas! Look at that, a hot cocoa, and now I think we're getting a caramel pretzel cookie. A caramel pretzel cookie. This sounds interesting. This cookie looks good. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Caramel pretzel chocolate chip cookie. So this is our third cookie now, and I love that they added a little pretzel, caramel pretzel chocolate chip cookie. Gonna give it, all. Oh, it's soft. And it, we got the hot chocolate. Hot chocolate and cookie combo again. That's gonna be the best cookie of the night. Unless they've got some super amazing cookies at the other spots, this is gonna be my favorite cookie. You can actually see the caramel and pieces of pretzel inside there. This is a really, really good cookie. And probably, like I said, my favorite cookie. I feel like we got a lot done so far tonight, but right now it is 9.48. So we have 12 minutes to get over to the hub to watch the, the Christmas fireworks. And I don't wanna miss those, so we're gonna Sip quickly and eat quickly. Oh, it is very, very crowded in here. We'll see if we can find a spot.
the fireworks were so amazing. I probably say that a lot today. Everything is just so amazing because I'm all hyped. I'm just excited to be here. I love the holiday season and it's just cool. Even if I'm running around sweating, wearing a Santa hat, I still feel just like, like full of spirit. But now I think we're gonna continue our cookie quest and uh, make our way into Adventureland and see what kind of festival snacks they got. There's that beautiful candy cane. This is in uh, Tortega Tavern. This is, I think, our final cookie stop. I think there's only four of them. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Oh, thank you. Red velvet cookie, fancy. I thought that there was going to be a cookie stop at Pecos Bills, but they don't have one this year. And uh, I was thinking this was the last one, but we did miss one, and that's at Gaston's Tavern. So I'm going to double back there because I got to know what the cookie is. This one over at Tortega is red velvet, but they don't have any beverages, just cookies. And it's a very soft cookie. Look at that. Ooh, almost broke into threes there. So you got to try the cookie. You got to try them all. The red velvet cookie is probably the softest cookie of the night. It literally crumbled apart when I broke it, and uh, I like it. I'd probably put this at number two, but we don't know what Gaston's has to offer, and I can't believe I missed it. I can't believe I missed a cookie stop. I definitely feel like there's less cookies this year than the previous years. And even that last stand, they didn't even have any beverages. They just had the red velvet cookie. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to look back. I think in total, there's five treat spots, five cookies, and four beverages. But technically, there's only two beverages because it's just apple cider and hot chocolate. Unless they got eggnog inside Gaston's, which honestly, maybe they do. We'll have to find out. Gaston's is looking so festive. Oh, and there's that candy cane. I can't believe I missed this place. I must have walked right by. Oh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh, this is looking good. Gingerbread? Oh, I'll take that. Oh, they do got eggnog. Look at this. Hi, guys. Oh. I'll take an eggnog, thank you. Of course, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Gaston's did have eggnog and they have a little gingerbread cookie with icing on it. So that's uh, all five cookies. I'm gonna give it a nice little break. I love gingerbread. I'm not, to, I'm not the biggest fan of eggnog, but behind the scenes I had like four hot chocolates and honestly, I'm happy it's not hot chocolate. My stomach couldn't handle it. I don't even know if my stomach can handle this, but I'm still gonna try it. So here we go, cheers. That's thick. The gingerbread cookie is good, but it's a little dry for my tasting. I don't think this is going to rank high for me. I think this is probably going to be my least favorite cookie out of all of them. And I'm not the biggest fan of eggnog, but it's still probably very good eggnog. I think overall, I might retire on the cookies and uh, sweet treats for the night. Maybe I'll take a couple of cookies home with me, though. I didn't get to see many characters today. The lines were, they weren't too bad, but I've been in such a hurry. Like I, I've been basically just walking the whole entire time because I, I definitely wanted to see the parade. I'm glad we did that. We got to see the fireworks, got to ride Space Mountain, try all of the cookies and all of the free beverages and even some of the food that you have to pay for, we got to try. So overall i think uh, we've gotten a lot accomplished here at mickey's very merry christmas party i think we're gonna start making our way down main street usa i might want to hop in and see mickey mouse before we leave and uh maybe call it a night i think it's like 11 o'clock now so the, the party is only going for another hour and the last parade is probably starting very soon it's kind of crazy like I, I feel like i just got here <laughs> I stopped in Tomorrowland and grabbed myself a bunch of cookies for the road. Oh look, Santa Stitch just came out over there. And I think the parade is starting. So we better hurry up if we're going to try to get down to see Mickey. My plan was to go in while the parade was happening because I figured the wait time would be down. I think we're going to take a, a detour. Oh look, we beat the parade down. It looks like Santa's actually going to be coming soon. There's the princesses. Now, I hope that the wait times for the characters in here aren't too high. Look at all the snow they got here. Wow.
it looks like it says Jack and Sally and Mickey are a 30 minute wait. But uh, I don't know about Mickey. It seems like this side is Mickey only. Oh yeah, that's the Jack and Sally line. Hey, how are ya? How come nobody's in line to meet Mickey? Wow, I can't believe this, guys. Look at this. Hey. Hi, how many? One. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Shall we one? Wow. There's like a walk on to meet Mickey. Perfect. I'll show you when you're over to me. Oh, yeah. Hey, pal. How are you? You having a great day? <laughs> you look very merry. I like it. It looks very good. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, I wanted to go see Jack and Sally, but you were the main attraction. You were the, you're, I was like, oh, forget them. I'm coming to see Mickey. That's the way. See, that's like a really good tip. If you're looking to actually meet the characters, go during the parades, the fireworks, uh, the stage shows, because it said 30 minutes and it was literally a walk-on. Like I just walked right into M uh, Mickey and that was so cool. But I think, uh, I think we're done here. I think uh, I'm gonna have to start making my way home and gotta go check in on Gracie Girl. Oh my lord. It looks like the parade ended. Oh, it's gonna take us a while to get home. And there she is, my little Gracie girl. What are you doing, huh? You just hanging out on the couch there? Yeah, you want a treat? You want a treat? I had a lot of cookies today, so Gracie, there's a cookie for you. Oh, I like the way you just tossed that back in your mouth. And with that, we are done here today. I had a lot of fun at the party. I do feel like they definitely cut down on the cookie distribution stations. I, I, I just didn't seem like there was a lot of different variety of cookies. Uh, the two frosting cookies, they were like the same one. One was supposed to be shaped like a Christmas tree, but the ones I picked up on my way out were just round and they actually removed the word Christmas tree straight from the packaging. But overall, it's such a great time. I love Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and I'm happy the holiday season is here. We have so many cool festive things to do for the next couple of weeks, and I can't wait to make videos and share all my experiences with you. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! I'm bald!